In this video, we will talk about setting up the mapping for accounts and taxes. To do this, let's dive into our QuickBooks connector. And under the account tab, we need to import all the required lists of accounts you have in QuickBooks into order using this import button. Okay, I have already imported all my data from QuickBooks to my auto account, but I will do it again to show you how it works. I will use this option to import data without duplicating existing data, just updating it. Now let's do the import. Okay, it's done. Here you can see the last import date time, and you can view the imported list by clicking the View QuickBooks Accounts button. Among the data that order receives from QuickBooks, you can see a unique identifier for each imported account item. This identifier is essential technical information. It is assigned to each item that is exchanged between the systems and is actually used to recognize and identify it by both systems. Ok, let's go back. Here you can also immediately define default accounts that will be applied to items when exporting products to QuickBooks, if these accounts are not already defined in the items. After importing the QuickBooks accounts, go to the Odoo chart of accounts and set up the mapping between the two. You can do this by mapping the Odoo accounts to the corresponding QuickBooks accounts. Simply select the appropriate QuickBooks account from the imported list. By clicking on the related QuickBooks account field, you can see the already mapped accounts. Similarly, we can configure the mapping for taxes and their corresponding codes. So let's go back and dive into the tax tab. First, we need to import the taxes from QuickBooks using the import button. You can use the imported list here. Among the data that order receives from QuickBooks, you can also see the unique identifier for each imported tax item and the appropriate tax code. Ok, let's go back. Now we can configure the tax mapping here. You can see the order tax name, description, tax type, and here you have the related QuickBooks tax column. You need to match the order tax chart with the corresponding QuickBooks tax chart. Just select the corresponding QuickBooks tax from the drop down menu or you can select it from the full imported list. 